In this video, we're going to do a few problems having to do with operational amplifiers. So for this first one, we want to find the value of RF that is required to produce a voltage gain of 50. Now this is a non-inverting op amp. We have the voltage source going into the positive terminal. We have a 5k ohm resistor here. Let's find the value of RF. So the formula for gain for this op amp circuit is going to be 1 plus RF over this 5k ohm resistor. Let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. So now we have G minus 1 is equal to RF over 5k ohms. We want our G value to be 50. So we can write 50 minus 1, that's 49. Now we can multiply. 5,000 ohms on both sides. So now we have RF is equal to 49 times 5,000 ohms. And that gives us a value of 245,000 ohms. So D is the correct answer. For this next one, we want to find the output voltage VO. We have everything we need. We have a 6 volt voltage source hooked to a 3 ohm resistor a 2 volt voltage source hooked up to a 4 ohm resistor and up here we have a 2 ohm resistor. So let's find our output voltage. Let's first find the value of this current I sub F. To do that we're going to need V1 over R1 and we can call this 6 volt source V1 and this 3 ohm resistor R1 and we're going to want to add V2 over R2 to that. And we can call this 2 volt source V2 and we'll call this 4 ohm resistor R2. So now we have 6 volts over 3 ohms plus 2 volts over 4 ohms and that's going to give us a value of 2.5 amps. Now to find VO, we're going to want to use Ohm's law, which we know states that V voltage is equal to current times resistance. So our output voltage is going to equal IF times R3. We'll call this 2 ohm resistor R3. So VO is going to equal 2.5 amps times 2 ohms and you want to make sure you include a negative sign in front of the current and this is going to give us a output voltage of negative 5 volts so B is our answer for this last one we're given a summing amplifier we want to select the value of R3 that will produce an output voltage of negative 3 volts. Let's keep in mind that V is equal to current times resistance and current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So our output voltage will be equal to the current but since we don't have a current stated anywhere on the diagram we'll have to use V over R. So we're gonna use four volts over 4,000 ohms. And we wanna make sure our current is negative. And we wanna multiply that by R3 minus negative two volts over 12,000 ohms. and we'll multiply that by R3. We want our output voltage to be negative 3 volts, so we'll rewrite this as negative 3 volts is equal to 4 over 4,000. That's going to give us 1 milliamp. And let's not forget our negative sign. Multiply that by R3 minus 
negative 2 volts over 12,000 ohms, that's going to give us 1 sixth milliamp. And we have two negative signs here, so this is going to be a positive. And we'll multiply this by R3. Now we can simplify to negative 3 volts is equal to negative 5 over 6 milliamps times R3. Then we're going to multiply both sides by negative 5 6 milliamps. And that's going to give us a value for R3 of about 3.6 thousand ohms. So C is our answer. So we just did three problems with three different operational amplifiers. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.